It's the 10th of July, I'm Jerusha Suthia Rath and you're watching News 24 Live. No agreement has been reached between government and Mamalodi taxi operators regarding the release of more than 50 impounded taxis. Department of Community Safety spokesperson Tapela Molloy said, We can confirm that there's been no agreement reached between the two parties, uh, being government and the taxi association, for us to release the vehicles for them to resume operations. But the statement follows the announcement by taxi operators that they would be returning to work and after their protest over impounded taxis. The trial of four men accused of killing Mozambican Emmanuel Sitole is expected to continue in the Johannesburg Magistrates Court today. Last month, the court heard how Sitole had beer poured on him prior to the attack that led to his death in April this year. State witness Fabian Gomez, a street vendor like Sitole who sold vegetables, told the court that he sells his vegetables on 2nd Avenue in Alexandra. He said Sitole was beaten by a beer bottle. And according to his testimony, Sitole ran for about 45 meters before falling. He was then stabbed. And finally, South African artist Lorraine Lutz is causing a stir in New York with her highly successful international showcase, Ants in NYC. Showing at the Three Kings Studio Gallery in Brooklyn, New Yorkers poured into the space to see her 740 retrospective pieces, which were all no bigger than a two-round coin. Lutz spoke to CBS this morning about her project. It started with the decision not to be an artist anymore, ironically. <laughs> <laughs> I decided that I wanted to do, you know, a normal nine to five, pay the bills, and then I would spend an hour a day just finishing one artwork. Why did you decide to paint so small? <laughs> it was exactly what I could finish in an hour. So the amount of detail that I put into like a square inch stays the same no matter how big the painting is. Lutz even gained the attention of U.S. actor Neil Patrick Harris, who said Lorraine Lutz brilliantly paints tiny paintings and has an exhibition in New York I own too. Congratulations, Lorraine. More on these stories and more on News 24 Live.